Okay, what we're looking at right here is a brainstem model. Remember, a brainstem consists of the midbrain, pons, and medulla. Okay? So this model is really good for visualizing many, but not all, many of the cranial nerves, like cranial nerve number two, which is the optic nerve. Okay? This structure right here is the pituitary gland. If I were to move the model like this, we would be able to see this nerve in here, which is the oculomotor nerve, okay? The trochlear nerve, we would have to move the model a little bit and see the trochlear nerve coming around like this. Okay, that's trochlear nerve. Cranial nerve number four. Cranial nerve number five is right here, and cranial nerve number five is the trigeminal nerve that's located on the pons here, okay? Cranial nerve number six is this nerve right here. That's the abducens nerve. Cranial nerve number seven is right here. That cranial nerve number seven is the facial nerve. Cranial nerve number eight is right here. That's the vestibulocochlear nerve. Cranial nerve nine is right here. That's glossopharyngeal nerve. Cranial nerve 10 is right here. That's the vagus nerve. Cranial nerve 11 is right here, and that's the spinal accessory nerve. Okay? It's also known as the accessory nerve, but I like to call it spinal accessory nerve because as you can see, it gets a contribution from the spinal nerves down below. Okay? So it's spinal accessory nerve in my book. And then uh, cranial nerve number 12 right here, that's the hypoglossal nerve. On the back of this model right here, we can see the posterior portion of the midbrain. This would be the corpora quadrigemina. These would be the superior colliculi up here, and these would be the inferior colliculi. Okay? This up here, we can see the thalamus up above that. And then here would be the pineal gland. Okay? Some choroid plexus would be right here as well. Down here, we can really see very well, because the cerebellum has been removed, we can see the fourth ventricle right here. If I were to put my pencil up into this hole here, I would be putting my pencil up into the cerebral aqueduct or mesencephalic aqueduct, which would bring cerebral spinal fluid from the third ventricle down here to the fourth ventricle. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.